I teach mostly life sciences, so I teach uh, anatomy and physiology, cellular biology. Uh, I also um, have worked as a medical examiner for the state of Maine for over 30 years. I'm retired from that now, but I also teach two forensics courses, uh, one on evidence evaluation and one on death investigation. And I also teach an introductory science course, uh, 100 level, that's a sampling of science. They get a little physics, a little chemistry, some bio, or science astronomy, uh, just to give them sort of a very basic uh, outline of science. I like that science is hands-on. Uh, now that we have a lab, we had gotten a grant and uh, built a lab a number of years ago, so students can do dissections, uh, students can do different sort of experiments. And to me, science is fun because you get to play with stuff, you know, so you can um, do things and, and use your hands for things as well as just thinking about things. And students really seem to like that as well. I think so much of science has become uh, virtual, that they see things, and that's cool too, you can see things on a computer and you can manipulate it, but for them to actually have the things in their hands and look at these and dissect them and work with them, um, uh, really seems to bring them to life that this is real stuff, it's not just you know things on, in a book or it's just things on a screen. So when we were studying uh, the heart, I bring in stethoscopes so they can listen to their heartbeats, and then when they do a dissection, they can uh, see the parts of the heart that make the sounds that they heard listening to heartbeats. Uh, they can do their own EKGs. We set up a, a lab station where they can do EKGs. When we're doing the nervous system, um, I bring in uh, my ophthalmoscope. They can actually look into each other's eyes, look through the pupil and see each other's retinas. And so they get to, to see what uh, we on the medical side are seeing when we're uh, examining them. So they get to see what their retina looks like, see what their tympanic membranes look like. Uh, then in the uh, forensic courses, they get to do a lot of hands-on things. They do fingerprinting, uh, where they do their own fingerprinting and put fingerprints on various things that they have to dust and then lift. Um, and probably the, the thing that makes them, um, gets the most press is when we do explosives in the forensics uh, study. Uh, we actually have a small explosives demonstration outside where I take them out and we blow some stuff up with permission from the police department. Uh, <laughs> and uh, that, that uh, they get a big charge out of that. And it's educationally, they actually learn something about how explosives work, how those things work. So, I'm always trying to, to come up with you know, fun ways for students to, to do things, but that also demonstrate and teach them something. So it's a hands-on learning experience. So I am trained as a physician. I was a board-certified family physician. Um, I had my own private practice for a while, so I can draw on that. And I've also been a medical examiner for the state of Maine since the early 80s. Um, so as I was uh, wrapping up my career there and getting to the end of, of, uh, of practicing and wanting to retire and, and doing something different. Um, I always enjoyed teaching. And in my practice, I would do a lot of teaching. I had done some adult health education um, when I was in practice. And so I came here and first just taught one course. I taught a biology course. The, um, the school needed a biology professor. So I thought, oh, that would be fun. I could come by and I applied and got hired to do that. Really enjoyed it. And the students liked the class. Um, and then uh, the provost asked me, said, um, he saw that I had been a medical examiner. He said, do you have a criminal justice program? Would I be willing to put together a forensics course for that? I said, well, certainly, I, I would do that. would be fun. And so I did that. And that was, that was a number of years ago, sort of at the height of the CSI craze on uh, TV. And the students just love that. And I ended up actually expanding that to two courses. So now I have a different course each semester. And having been in, uh, in the field, when I'm teaching anatomy or physiology or if I'm teaching other classes, it allows me to draw on some of that and tell the students some various stories to, uh, uh, to expand on things. And they enjoy that too. You know, just to be able to hear, it's not just from a textbook, but this is what it's like in the field to do these things.